Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I'm here with my part two Barry M collection or Barry M collection part two. Um, we're going to look at eight polishes today and I'm going to swatch them because I've managed to save uh, a swatch wheel that's got eight spaces. So hopefully the light's okay, the focus is okay, and we will see how it we'll see how it goes. So I'll show you the first, the, the most recent Barry M's that I picked up, um, which is what prompted me to do the part two. Um, and this is one, I actually picked these up just yesterday. Um, this is a limited edition and it's Lolly Gloss, which is a very juicy, shiny jelly. So we'll be able to see what this jelly formula is like. Um... It's not too thin, thin in consistency, um, and the labels on these these particular Barry M's that I picked up anyway, the labels have just already rubbed off, even though I only bought this yesterday. But it's Orange Fizz, um, and this is from the Lolly Gloss new collection. Um, so this is going to be very sheer. Again, the Barry M brushes are all very similar, flat and wide. So yeah, that's quite sheer. Um, and because it's so translucent on that first coat, let's do a jelly sandwich so that you can see. See what I mean when I talked about that the other day. So that's the first coat. I'm really struggling now with the focus. Nah, okay. Doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. It just seems to go out of focus whenever it wants. I don't know. I'm sure when I when, even when I'm doing something when I'm doing something right, I don't know how it is that I'm doing something right. But um, that's the uh, lolly gloss, and then I picked up um, because this seems to be. I mean, metallic polishes aren't anything new at all. Um, but they are quite they and and things with nail polish kind of goes round and round in circles in terms of trends. Um, but these are quite metallic polishes are quite popular at the moment. Um, I know there are a few brands with different metallic collections, and this is Barry M's version. So, oh, I think there were probably about six in total in the collection. I just picked up three. Um, again, Barry M, really affordable high street brand. So let's have a look at these. I've actually worn these two already. I did some swatching with them earlier today. This is Silver Lining. Um, and they are fairly opaque. So if you're careful with your application, you might even be able to get away with just one coat. Although I'm not sure about this with the silver. That's actually quite a nice... S subtle silver that's one coat um, so that's silver lining and the next one is bronze bay which apparently means before all else I think Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, and this is, so this is the, the bronze molten metallic. I'm going to knock that over. <laughs> so it's a yeah it's a it's a goldy it's more of gold i think than bronze um although i didn't see the gold in this um <clears throat> in this particular collection um and the gold polishes that i've got are okay for me at the moment i've got enough gold polishes but i was interested in these different types of metallics bronze and copper uh so the copper is the, <clears throat> the copper is this one and look it's copper something <laughs> 
but the label's rubbed off completely already. But this is the copper uh, molten metal in this this new metallics collection from Barry M. Um, and I think out of the two that I tried, this was probably my favourite. Like I said, I've not tried the silver on the nail yet. Um, these were great. And there is... Um, it goes on quite smoothly. Uh, the Barry M brushes are great. There's, an, there's a soft shimmer that's running through this metallic, but there's also uh, a stronger silver sheen that's running through it as well so even though it's copper you can still see some fragments of silver glitter in there uh, it, it means of course um, that when you're removing these types of polishes and it, it absolutely happened when I removed these two is the glitter just spreads everywhere so removal can be a bit of a pain but that's the three that I picked up from the molten collection um, this is dry so we will put a layer of glitter on so that's the one layer of orange jelly orange fizz and oops. this is Ziggy Stardust from Polish Me Royalty so we'll let that dry um, and the next two are these are kind of random Barry M's from different um, parts of the main collection. Um, and these two are... Does it make a difference if I bring it right up? Oh, okay. It's like, it's like in the close-ups today. These two are silk. Ignore this is my strange old coding system that I used to have. Um, and they they dry to a satin soft satin matte finish and this one is orchid and there's they've got they've got a, a flash running through them like this one's got a kind of magenta flash in a in a purpley base with some glitters in there And this one it is exactly the same finish, but in this teal blue green. And this is forest. Well, it really wants to be close up. Okay, forest. There you go. So you've got that shimmer in there. And it doesn't seem to be, you don't seem to be able to see it very well here, but there is a slight colour shifting formula in there as well so let's have a look at these two so this is forest I just need to bring this right up Well, that took me ages to do that, and now my phone's ringing. Uh, there you go. So that's forest. So we'll see that dry into this silk finish. And this one is orchid. I think I've worn both of these once. Um, now this is a slightly better formula and application. This is quite a nice colour actually. Maybe it was just the green that I wore. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Again you can see that shimmer in there. Usually when I bring things that close to the camera 
that's when everything goes out of focus but anyway the, the next two and the last two for this video are from the aquarium collection so again much much stronger color shifting with this extra shimmery glitter in there well in that one particularly this one is uh well first of all this one is mediterranean um and actually annika nails by anubi was wearing this on her swatch on instagram yesterday and i kind of recognized it but i couldn't remember the name so that's kind of again orangey coppery with a touch of pink in there as well i think and this one is persian and it's got that purple to green to gold color shift in there So as with most colour shifting or duochrome or multi-chrome polishes, this is going to be quite sheer. Yeah. And it's the kind of polish that you do need to build up possibly three coats. So that was Persian and this is Mediterranean. Actually, it's quite similar to the uh, copper, not as thick in formula, but it's quite similar to that copper molten. And this, incidentally, <laughs> this means that I can need to scratch these off where I find them, but... Um, this means that it took three coats to be opaque, which we obviously we haven't got time for, but we're going to go back and do another coat. Um, uh, where, did I, where did I start now with the lolly? So I'm going to cover this middle layer of glitters again with the jelly. So you're sandwiching the glitters in between two layers of jelly polish. This really is a nice juicy orange. And that's a jelly sandwich again. So I'm going to very quickly see if we can get... Ah, there you go. It's all in the tapping. Um, I'm just going to put another very quick coat on these ones here. And while I do... Uh, very messily by the way uh, and heavy-handedly while I do that I'll tell you <clears throat> I met with my mum for lunch today she lives in Ireland but she's over here in the UK at the moment um, she's visit visiting folks and going on holiday next week and she, we were having lunch and she said oh I follow you and I thought what, what do you mean follow me you've been spying on me or something what, what are you talking about and, she, and then I thought, oh yeah, follow, like social media kind of follow, which made me laugh because she's my mum. And she said, oh yeah, but watch your videos on YouTube. And I said, okay, well, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. So shout out to Ellen, my mum, who is, I'm going to stay with on Sunday and Monday next week. And I'm going to take my polish bits and pieces and do a nice manicure for her for a, for a holiday next week and mum speaking of hands <laughs> this video just underneath where you can see me doing this on the screen there's a title and underneath the title of the video there's a little hand like that that looks like a thumb if you click on that and, and make sure it turns blue you win a prize and I'll give it to you when I see you on Sunday <laughs> so there you go um, right nearly finished this is the last one I'm just putting these extra coats on so that you can see them a bit better if we can get those close-ups again you know I'd forgotten how much I liked this one. So, 
Let's see if we can get that close up again. Brilliant. So that's the lolly orange in a jelly sandwich. That's the three moltens, silver lining, bronze bay and copper something. Um, these are the two satin finishes so you can see them drying quite satin, quite thick um, and the, the application in the formula was okay actually. Sometimes some of these thicker satins get a bit gloopy. Uh, but th these are great, so that's Forest and Orchid, and then we've got the two Aquarium ones here, and that's, what was this one again, Persian, which is this purpley colour shifting, and Mediterranean, which is this gorgeous orangey, coppery touch of pink. So there you go, that's part two of my Barry M collection. And if you've been wondering what's on my nails, this is um, Essence and this is the very peachy, pale, pale, pale pastel called I Care For You. Um, love these polishes and I'm going to be wearing these. I'm working away for the next couple of days, so I'm going to test the wear on these polishes as well for a couple of days. That's if I don't get bored and take it off. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!